is a lesson number 40 and uh, we are here into the small satellite launch vehicles it is a recent update also for your coming year examinations for uh, uh, you know those you are going to apply for UPSC any state PCS or CDS and any of the examinations as you know it is a revolution batch those are running now and the speed of the courses are you know moderate uh, slowly gradually when I'm getting a f uh, time from free from my uh, face to face classes I'm making this uh, doing this recording for all of you so let us start with this lesson number 40 where I'm discussing with you about the small satellite launch vehicle SSLV my name is Dr. Ravi Agrari and you all guys are listening to me on Purvanchalai's online platform these are my telegram channels where you people can connect with me regarding my all the updates my facebook page instagram social media platform i also have a double and my youtube channel is dr ravi Gris classes of Lee provincial is where you can find out my all the entire current updates <coughs> also children days offer are available where uh, courses are early 2999 as the price is uh, reduced between you know in these 13 to 15 november so if you want to join these courses so kindly scan this and join these courses for the revolution batch of science and technology Regarding any doubts, people can go and contact on the given numbers. So a small satellite launch vehicle as a SSLV. What is SSLV? I'll explain with you guys. Actually, uh, overall, there was a news regarding the SSLV, small satellite launch vehicles. There is a five generation launch vehicle we are using, like uh, SLV, ASLV, PSLV, GSLV, GSLV, MK3. Um, nowadays, one more launch vehicle is in the news that is called a small satellite launch vehicle, SSLV. What is the importance of a small satellite launch vehicle? I'll discuss with you as the lot of the workload of PSLV is going to reduce with the help of SSLV. PSLV is costly, SSLV is cheaper. So whenever we want to send any of the cheaper mission, okay, where the cost is very less is required, so why are we are wasting the more and more money to utilize a PSLV? Because PSLV and SSLV, most of the feature can be same, but PSLV is very costly and SSLV is very cheap in the comparison of this. So slowly gradually you will understand all entire the mechanism of SSLV, those I'm telling you here. Small satellite launch vehicle, what was the recent updates and all, I just want to tell you guys. The one part it's a ISROs, it means indigenous new launch rockets that was proposed to launch in the April, May 2022. But what happened? This project got delayed. This project got delayed. Okay, and one more last updates regarding the SSLV that was uh, August 2022. So that was April, May 2020-22 as a target. It sent in September 2020 three, four months delay. But you know, this, this SSLV could not become successful. Okay, and this is the reason the next trial of SSLV is in the news in December 2020-22. I hope so it will become successful soon. But what are everything I'll discuss with you, why SSLVs are very important for ISRO and, and SIL, that all discussion I will do here. Guys, this is very, very important. As India's launching station, you by people know very well, that is uh, SDSC, Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. And Satish Dhawan Space uh, Center have uh, more than one launching pads. It's a launching pad number one, okay, from where it was launched, but could not become successful. That was a first trial, okay. The first trial on the 2nd, August 2022. Actually, you know what is going on? Uh, NSIL is one of the commercial wing of ISRO. Okay, earlier the commercial wing of ISRO was only Antrix, but now after is the Antrix, the another one has set up that is called NSIL. The reason Antrix has got so much workload, many of the assignment entries got it. So due to reduce the workload, that another institution was set up. It was in 2019 NSIL. So those set up, it was a new Space India Limited in 2019. Purpose same, the same commercial purpose of your commercial wing of ISRO. Okay, so to reduce the ISRO's workload, earlier Antrix was only one body, but now NSIL is also set up. So ultimately, you know, they are taking the various assignment from the other countries. They are taking assignment from the various other countries. If other country have an interest to utilize the India's launch vehicle, so they will come and talk to the Antrix and NSIL, and all the deals, financial deal, everything will be at this place, NSIL and Antrix. Okay, actually, you know, they, they are working, especially for the manufacturing and production of uh, small satellite launch vehicles and even PSLV also. Actually those SSLV even develop, it is, it is a kind of technology transfer of PSLV. So those PSLV India already has achieved, developed 
it's reverse engineering technology, a technology transfer type of mechanism we have adopted in the case of a small satellite launch vehicles. Okay, a small satellite launch vehicle. For that purpose, various industries have been participated. Okay, because as per uh, the success of the SSLB guys, India can send a very small size of satellites, very nominal price. Because PSLB when used to carry the small weight of satellites, it was very, very costly. So now the same work with a very minimum prices, India will make successful with the help of SSLB. This is the reason, main reason behind SSLB is this guys. Okay, so those wastage and uh, of money and we can do the more and more money here. These all the main principle behind it. Okay, SSLV, if you go there, guys, so cater to the market for the launch of the small satellite into the low Earth orbit. Low Earth orbit means at around uh, 50 to 2,000 kilometer distance if you want to send a satellite. 50 to 2,000 kilometer distance if you want to send a satellite. So it's the best position, guys. It's the best locations. Okay, and here, uh, generally for the universities, for the small satellites, corporations, okay, many institutions, they are working especially for that. Actually, you know, ISRO's workhorse, which is PSLV is popularly called as a ISRO's workhorse. Why PSLV popularly called as ISRO's workhorse? Reason most of the work, okay, even the various satellite of foreign countries, PSLV used to carry guys. Even many of the US, uh, US based 96 satellite also launched by one of the PSLV of India. So PSLV is taking a lot of various assignment from the other countries. And this is the reason it is also popularly called as ISRO's workhorse. You people remember it is a ISRO's workhorse. And PSLV already made around 50 plus successful launch, okay, in this past. From beginning till now, 50 plus satellites or uh, 50 plus missions of PSLV already become successful. Okay, the launch of these small satellites as a consequences has been dependent on the finalizing of launch contract for the launcher, uh, uh, for the, you know, larger launch uh, satellites uh, by the ISRO guys. Actually, I just want to give you some information that is very, very important. Okay, it's a launch that you can see. Actually, I just want to give you a brief of the launch vehicles. Listen, guys, as in the in my all the static portion, I have already discussed with you. Okay, the launch vehicle have a various generations. The first generation launch vehicle is called as a SLV. Second generation launch vehicle is called as a ASLV. Third generation launch vehicle is called as a PSLV. Fourth generation launch vehicle is called GSLV. And one more that is called five generation launch vehicle is called GSLV MK3. This is considered as a fifth generation launch vehicle. Okay, as in 2020-21, that one of the objective uh, main question paper like MPBSC may examiner has given right on the all the five generation launch vehicle. The five generation launch vehicle even ISRO also mentioned that is GSLV MK3. Even GSLV already have a various different variant. MK3 will also come as one of the part. But okay, when ISRO has mentioned as a five generation is a GSLV MK3, so you can make separate. Okay, neither GSLV MK3 was actually the part of 4G. And one more here I just want to tell you guys that is called SSLV. SSLV, small satellite launch vehicle, those all discussion we are doing here. Actually, you know what is going to be happen here in this case? These two already not in use, SLV and ASLV. Okay, satellite launch vehicle and augmented satellite launch vehicle we are not using. So what we are using, so here the answer is 3G, third generation and fourth generation. And here the fifth generation, GSLV MK3. Actually, PSLV used to carry a less weight of satellites. Yeah, less weight, yeah, small weight of satellites. Okay, to carry the less distance. Okay, not only less distance, even also can carry to more distance. More distance, more distance. But you know, guys, the development of PSLV is around many crores, 300 crore, 200 crore plus. Okay, Avakar, suppose you want to send a less distance based, less weight of satellites, so ultimately you are going to use the 300 crore rupiah. If I'm giving you some of the alternative as a SSLV, those can carry the less weight of satellite very easily to the less distance, guys, less distance, guys. And hardly three to five crore, eight crore rupees. So you tell me how much money you can save. So ultimately the purpose is same here guys, but ultimately those money we are going to waste in the case of PSLV. I suppose many of the foreign countries assignment India got it to carry a small weight of satellite. So why we are, we are, we will waste our money with the help of PSLV. Okay. Ultimately we are wasting the technology also, not only the money. PSLV has better technology to carry better and better quality, performance, accuracy, reliability. Here we are utilizing for a small type. So that is a reason it, it, it is a kind of waste of uh, technology. India even even gone ahead towards uh, another alternative as a SSLV. So I hope the concept of SSLV you people very clear here in this case. It's a launching of SSLV you can see here guys. 
launch vehicle as high spoken it's a combination of uh, the even various generation and all that have a uh, thrusters and boosters okay with the help of thruster and boosters when the launch vehicle carry the satellite step to step they are changing their own orbits okay whenever the satellites are going to launch with the help of launch vehicle in some orbit the orbit is going to switch one orbit then the second orbit then the next orbit in this case thrusters and boosters are helping them okay to so ultimately without the thruster and booster the satellite will not go successfully into the orbit guys with the help of launch vehicles generally two operational launch vehicle as i spoken you guys slv aslv is not in the news in the use so pslv and gslv are the those india is using right now okay and which is the place where india is developing the launching vehicle oh, so that is the vikram sarabhai space center tiruvananthapuram is the area is the place from where india is india is developing own launch vehicle okay so these are some factual data you must remember here in this case a static part i also discuss with you all guys if you go into the sslv stages guys sslv have a four stages of launch vehicles four stages of launch vehicles okay and first three stages have a solid nature of propellant and third uh, fourth stage first three stages have a solid nature of propellant and that solid nature of propellant is called as a htpb htpb is a kind of synthetic propellant and the full form of htpb is a hydroxyl terminated this is a hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene so hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene this is a sslv as a four stages the first three stages have a solid nature of propellant this is the htpb and the four stages is totally liquid nature okay it's a liquid nature of propellant okay four terminal stages are liquid nature of velocity trimming modules that is called velocity trimming modules so velocity trimming module is a kind of liquid nature of propellant guys okay liquid nature of propellant actually what is the use of velocity trimming module it is mentioned here the purpose of this guy is to correct for the dispersion in the velocity that can occur at the time of injections so what about the proper velocity is required to maintain in the last moment of time okay that certain orbital speed with a certain acceleration is required neither the satellite not fixed in into the certain orbits and now have a chances of what errors are there and when the satellite not put successfully into the proper orbit then it is called as a drift orbit in this case satellite will not functionable 24 into 7 and here a satellite can be fail also so this is the reason to put the successfully in the last moment to maintain the velocity on the proper time basis injections here this fourth stage propellant is required okay and the capacity is around uh, up to 500 kg satellite it can launch from few kg to 500 kg is the limit of sslv those you can see here in this case okay as just a feature of sslv if you go it's a small vehicle as a 100 ton mass overall of the mass of the launch vehicles uh, it's on demand vehicles if anybody want to carry the any of the satellites so you can make ready in few days how interesting it is it can be ready in few days only okay uh, perfectly suiting the launching multiple micro satellites at a time and support the multiple orbital drops off so i hope this is a very interesting feature many number of a small satellite in different different orbits this sslv have a feature to put successfully guys it is the kind of achievements if you go into the sslv you know the significance a uh, hardly in 72 hours you can make ready sslv to launch any 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 missions guys and hardly six people <laughs> can make this this satellites even in place of 60 people that involved into the development of pslv so how interesting it is guys only few people and here uh, here the cost of is very short time we can make it ready and around 30 crore rupees expenditure so i hope you can understand guys how the sslv is cheaper and beneficial in the reference of india experimental satellite if you want to launch it university satellite if you want to launch it as i spoken you earlier guys there's different categories of satellite so university is an experimental satellite is very less distance a very less mass so it's a best option to use it okay so there is a different types of uh, a small satellite launch vehicle those are mentioned on the screen the one is a mini second is a micro third is a nano and here on that basis the mass is the 10 kilogram to 500 kilograms okay everyone and one thing more i just want to tell you guys it's build a synergy build synergy means what one side it is promoting the kind of uh, space research work second side for the commercial purposes as an industry it will also work okay so synergy means more than one type of energy in effect both two person is getting benefit okay just like here the development and manufacture of sslvs are expected to create the greater synergy between the space sectors and private indian industries 
okay both will get money both will get earning reason here in this case the private industry they will also have a interest in this sectors ki why not we are going to do work in the sslv to earn money as like a uh, elon musk is doing right now in us guys so in that way it can work as a industry just like a uh, mini car industry na similarly the sslv type of industry will start to work this is the last update of sslv that uh, really failed i just want to tell you guys and that was a sslb d1 the sslb d1 was launched on 7th august 2020 2022 okay and uh, it carried the eos earth observation satellite 2 and azadi sat the two satellite was launched on that overall mass was 143 kg distance was a leo mission was the isro mission but it was failed it was failed so overall the mass and all is written there okay but it's not required and next expected is in the summer 2020 2022 so i hope so in next expected 2020 2022 that uh, india will launch and india will become successful in the case of sslb that will be the first day so i hope sslb you people remember that is very very important topics for your coming year examinations as you people remember now it's a recent update in the launch vehicles so neither earlier was only five generation launch vehicle now one more you can add on the sslb okay so it was overall about the discussion of sslb now at the last i'll suggest to everyone telegram channel you people can connect with me always regarding all the pdfs and updates facebook page is ravi p agrahari 1 instagram i am also available on all the everywhere social media my youtube channel is dr ravi gris classes oblique provincial is where you can connect with regarding all the current updates my all the courses are available science and ecology hindi english medium courses are available at 7999 it's available on the purvanchal is app if you want to access the courses you can get it time to time various discount we are giving in various various occasions also environment classes agriculture biology phase chemistry will also come soon regarding uh, face to face classes my institution is set up at gorakhpur is my birthplace where i'm providing with all the delhi based qualities teaching there with all the facilities of you know test series as contained materials so all for that purpose you can connect there for face to face classes so if you are you want to join the face uh, face to face classes at gorakhpur you are staying there so you can directly contact on the given numbers that was a book that is a english medium book that was recommended to all of you it's my courses that are available right now on the children's day offer as 2999 and the offer is here this 13 to 15 november don't miss is all the courses are available on purvanchal is app and all the entire courses will finish by december okay <coughs> so thank you everyone kindly subscribe the channel uh like and share this video share to everyone because this video will upload on the youtube's uh, it's uh, some of the videos that i provided as far current updates also and uh, kindly use this bell icon for the future notification so thank you everyone god bless you meet you soon in the next class with some new other topic jai hind पूर्वांचल आईएएस भारत में सिविल सेवा में सर्वाधिक सिलेक्शन दिलाने वाले डॉक्टर रवि अग्रहरि एन टीम अब गोरखपुर में भी पूर्वांचल आईएएस एस पेडलीगंज इंदिरा नगर गोरखपुर